Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may, in truth, receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake and the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do not harm to yourself. Do not do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in and, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what I must do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in, in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into this house and provided a meal and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great love above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Please stand. will send to you the spirit of truth says the lord he will guide you to all truth The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you ask me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mangandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Faith translated into action is something all of us Christians has to work on together with forgiveness. In our first reading, narinig natin how the story of Paul and Silas, no? his companion, demonstrated this kind of forgiveness, how authentic faith in God is given to express no? this faith translated into action. Pagkatapos silang bugbugin at kulungin unjustly, Paul and Silas, no, during the night, were praying and singing. And while praying and singing, no, there was an earthquake. And this earthquake somehow miraculously dismantled their um, chains no? at nagiba yung buong kulungan. Immediately after this, no, the guard would think, no, na nakatakas na yung mga preso. At eto yung oportunidad na sila ay yung mga guard ay mapapahamak din sa kanilang superior. Kaya yung guard, no, out of shame perhaps na hindi nila nabantayan yung mga preso. Sabi dito, no. The jailer wanted to kill himself, no? But Paul, seeing, no, nandun lang siya nagtatago, no? Hindi siya umalis, no? Was concerned to the jailer. No, don't, don't do it. Stop. No? We are here, we are here, no? Sa takot siguro ng sundalo, sa takot ng tagabantay, gusto niyang patayin ang sarili na. Nagtanong ngayon yung guard, ano ho ang gagawin ko? Ano ho ang gagawin ko? Nakita niya yung milagro eh. No? Ang sabi ni Pablo sa kanya, believe in Jesus Christ. No? Believe in Jesus Christ. Siguro, no, dun sa believe in Jesus Christ, no, many of us would think, no, yung school of thought na, ah, sige, maniwala lang. No? Maniwala, maniwala at tayo ay maliligtas. No? It could be true. No? It may be true. No? Faith could save us. No? However, no? kung titingnan natin ang mga sumunod na pangyayari, no? pagkatapos tinulungan ng mga, na, na, ni Pablo at ni Silas itong jailer na to, no? yung pananampalataya ng jailer talaga namang in-express niya agad into action. Papano? Dinala niya si Pablo tsaka si Sila sa bahay at tinulungan. Ginamot yung sugat, kahit tinorture sila unjustly, pinatuloy sa bahay. At binautismohan ni Pablo ang buong kanyang sambahayan. No? This is where we get the 
notion why we baptize children because buong sambahayan ay binautismuhan ni Pablo at ni Silas. Ano ang makukuha natin na leksyon dito sa first reading? Kagaya ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, no? faith could save us. No? Sometimes even in the 15th, 16th century, sabi pa ni Martin Luther, no? faith alone, faith alone. Pero sa amin naman ni San Pablo, ah, ni, ni Santiago, St. James in his letter, no? faith without works is what? Dead. Ang pananampalatayang hindi na isasagawa ay wala. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na may pananampalataya kapag hindi ito na i-translate sa gawa. At yun ang nakita natin dito sa jailer na ito, dito sa guard na ito. Pagkatapos siyang maniwala, talaga namang na-translate ito sa mabuting gawa. Tinulungan niya si Pablo at si Silas, ginamot ang sugat, dinala sa bahay at inaruga. Wow! Sana ganun tayo lahat. What we profess in our mind and what we speak is translated into action. Dahil kung di ito matranslate sa action, it is dead. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, for this Mass, perhaps it is good to ask ourselves, no, of course, we all profess no, that we are Christians. We have this faith that we have received in baptism, even if we are not aware of it, most of us, because most of us were baptized when we were children. No? Nilang children, nung tayo ay sanggol pa lamang. However, Perhaps sa misang ito, no, sa misa ngayon, you are being asked, no, mature na ba yung faith na yan? Consistent ba yan at nakikita ba yan sa ating mga gawa? Sana ho itong tatlong faculty na ito, no? the faith that is sometimes just here no? and also here is not translated in here, no? Yung sinasabing tatlong H, the head, the heart, and the hands. No? Kung ano yung nasa isip mo, yun sana ang isa loob mo rin at isa bibig mo, sinasalita mo. But most especially, sana makita rin lalong-lalo na sa gawa. Sa gawa, by the very what? choices that we make. Piliin sana nating maging consistent no? etong tatlong ito. No? Nang sa gayon, hindi mamagsagang faith without action, of course, is dead. Dahil ang ating pananampalataya dapat nagniningas. No? Buhay na buhay, hindi patay. Sa tulong ng Espiritu Santo, nawa mapag-alab natin ang ating pananampalataya sa pamamagitan ng ating mga gawa. Amen. Please stand. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper like himself to be with us. In every prayer, we all say, Lord, send us your spirit. Lord, send us your spirit. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit that parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord send, send us your spirit, spirit, that we may give our best to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit, that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit, that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your spirit in abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, room, but, only but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheney,